What up dudes, this is AM, and today I'm going to be showcasing three matches that I have with one of the best geeks in the world. I'll be talking about things I could have done better, things I recognized during the match as well too, and things I wanted to work on later on as the games progress. And stick around to the end, I have a very important message and it's related to these matches as well too. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments below, and if you have any thoughts about this video, let me know as well too. Anyways, enjoy the matches, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. This guy has a 25 win streak? Jesus! Oh wait, this is uh this is Snake Eyes, right? Oh, oh shit, I totally forgot. Oh, that's new. What the hell? Damn, that's a safe jump by itself? Holy shit. What's up, Blue Green? That was not what I wanted. That's death, huh? Jeez, I didn't even get to play. Obviously not one of my best performances. I was getting off playing Ryu for the past two days, so my muscle memory kicked in and I was doing things that only Ryu could do and you saw it in this game and I got punished for it. But that's really besides the point. I think I was playing a little too aggressive and too fast and unsafe at a lot of moments. I did not respect his buttons or his setups and I fell for a safe jump that cost me the round. And I have to remember that players like this have a setup on setup, meaning that if it looks like a setup, it's probably a setup. I wasn't really taking the time to fill out the match. I was kind of just playing my own game without really playing against the character or the player. So I was doing shimmies without really establishing a throw game. And I was trying to bait out his charge hard punch move a little too much at neutral because I was expecting every geef to do that. So it cost me a lot of space and I found myself backing up in the corner or losing ground. But I did take away some key things that I started practicing in later matches. Like for example, if I'm in the corner and he's constantly doing charge hard punch i should be going for low instead of fireball since the fireball gets beaten out by the charge hard punch but it loses to a low forward so even though i lost i did enjoy myself i was having fun but i did tell myself that if i ran into him again i was gonna try a different game plan and really practice what i was thinking about in the last match That's not damn it dude I keep getting I'm not I'm not trying to do that I'm trying to get DP Every time Oh, oops, that's my bad.
Yo, this guy's reaction is insane. I had to do a crash and medium kick there, actually. Oh, very nice, dude. Oh, my fucking. Random overhead dry run, dude. Got those, baby. Damn, that traded? I noticed that. That's three times in a row my super didn't come out. So I cleaned up my stuff this time and I started executing some proper Akuma stuff. I didn't miss a couple DPs, but that's just input errors. It wasn't really anything Ryu related. So one of the things that I noticed, especially with Snake Eyes, is that he tries to catch you walking backwards, trying to get your space back with a sweep. And I was getting hit with that quite a few times and I was like, yo man, this guy keeps doing sweep because I keep walking back because I'm trying to get space. So I made a conscious effort to block low whenever he was getting close into sweep range. I think that helped overall because I didn't lose too much space. I stopped doing the whole backdash thing to bait out his charge punch because Snake Eyes was just not doing it. And just like I said before, it was costing me way too much ground doing that backdash to bait out the charge hard punch. He was only really using that button whenever I was in the corner. Speaking of the corner, you could tell that it finally hit me. I think mid-match, I was like, wait a minute, I should probably do low forward. And I was doing low forward a lot in the next round. I was using my buttons in neutral a little bit more, especially with the stand hard punch so I could catch him walking forward and it did work out a couple times. I'm sure he's used to players walking back on him because that's what most players do against Keef. So throwing out that stand hard punch that's very hit confirmable really saved the day a couple times. But the biggest takeaway that I had in this match was to keep my ground, not do backdash all the time or walk back and start blocking low. But here we are. Happy fart dude.
What? So I was throwing more fireballs, but I made sure to sneak in some whiff buttons there too to make him stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. It really helps out the fireball game, especially if you don't want them to walk forward so much or if you're trying to bait out a jump. I was able to hold my ground a little bit more because I wasn't doing the whole backdash thing and I was blocking low to block the sweeps and I was able to block a lot of them successfully. Even though I didn't have the biggest answer for them, just blocking them and not losing ground was enough for me. And there were a couple times where I actually walked forward and tried to attempt to throw instead of just walking back and pressing buttons because i did notice that even though he was walking forward a lot he wasn't really pressing any buttons so i saw that as an opening for me to walk forward and try to go for a throw some things that i noticed is that he doesn't really fall for gimmicks so he just got to play straight forward so me doing the whole jump over a dive kick never worked out and he was able to parry it or block it and punish it so many times so that's something that i'll keep in mind in the future if i play him again is keep it straight forward with snake eyes and that's pretty much the game plan. So I was pretty happy to kind of piece everything together and keep in mind the way that I lost before and try new strategies that I felt like would have been a good answer. Overall, I played safer, slower, and more straightforward than trying to do all these things without even establishing any type of game. All right, guys, let me talk to you for a sec, all right? So apparently he was salty about that last match and he was blowing up about it and his chat was blowing up about it and people in my chat started saying something about it too look man it's okay to be salty it's okay to be frustrated i get it everyone gets frustrated because it's a competitive game and people get competitive and egos are on the line but the caliber of a player that snake eyes is and the fact that he's a pro and he's fought the best of the best and he's regarded as one of the best geeks in the world i hold players like that to a higher standard and plus he has a platform and he has an audience that listens to him now imagine you're a big fan of this xyz pro player and you finally get to play him in ranked and then you beat him right you beat him a couple games big woo and then you go to his stream because like dang you know you finally get to play your favorite player on ranked and you know cfn finally allowed you guys to actually play and he's sitting there talking shit about you you know what i'm saying and as a fan that would change your whole perspective your whole view on that player the girl or guy that you looked up to is talking shit about you look man the fgc is small and it's finally growing so we should be encouraging these players to step up and play and learn the game so we can have some new blood new competition and these pro players should have a responsibility to kind of uplift these players and keep in mind this is just ranked just because i beat you in a couple games doesn't doesn't mean anything so it really sucks to hear that a player like him a pro player like him with as big of a platform as him is encouraging that type of behavior these guys should really step up and do better to lift the community not bring them down you have to keep in mind that thousands of people are watching you now i'm not saying that you shouldn't get mad you shouldn't get salty it's natural for people to get upset i get it but these players should recognize that they have a responsibility especially as big of a platform that they have so i'm just disappointed man and i've seen these pro player streams and to be honest i don't like watching a lot of street fighters streams because every stream that i tune into someone's talking shit about somebody i just wish that these players would recognize that people look up to them and they're gonna follow that behavior and i don't want that in the community no one wants that